I was in there. <laughs> hey, I figured I'd share my secret to staying sober. Well, it's worked thus far. Just go hang out with drunks at the bar and watch their behavior. You'll say, not today, alcohol. Not today. And tomorrow ain't looking very good either. <laughs> Might not work with everybody. But so far, it's worked pretty good for me. I haven't had a drink in 85 days. Before that, I think I got drunk every day. Almost every day for a month solid. And I'm talking drunk. What finally made me quit is... One night I was going to go to the bar, have one beer with my buddy. Just one. Well, you know how that goes. I had one, then another, then another. Then he said, hey, bub, let's go to another bar. I said, okay. So we go to this dive bar. Two hours later, $150 bar tab and me getting thrown out of the bar. <laughs> I thought, hmm. At that moment, I didn't think I had a problem. When I woke up with a raging headache the next morning, and it lasted for 36 hours, I thought, maybe this really isn't the best path to solving all my life's problems. <laughs> but uh, as you all know, you're going to want another drink. And so thus far, my secret has been to keep one in the fridge, I've got it there. I've actually pulled it out a couple times, had my hand on the bottle cap. Started to pull it off and said, nah, one more day. And then when I really get tempted, I just go down to my local bar and watch some of my, well, not necessarily friends, just people I know, just watch them act completely stupid as I have done many a time. And thus far, that's been pretty much uh, my secret. I don't know if that'll work for you, but uh, keeping a bottle in the fridge. So if you have to have one, you can grab it. But so far, I, I haven't. And then when you really get tempted, just go down to the bar. Order your coat and watch everybody act like a complete imbecile. <laughs> but, uh, hey, you know, the power is all within us. And I credit God, too. I think you, prayer is a big part of it. But, like I said, keeping a bottle nearby and just hanging out with drunks. So, anyways, if you're struggling to overcome an addiction, I really didn't have a bad one, I guess, for as long as many people. I had only been drinking for, what, not quite six and a half years, I think. I'd never drank before I was 45, so I might have a little bit of advantage over some people. But um, you know how it is. You start feeling good, you want to keep feeling good. So anyways, i keep this video short and just thinking, you know, maybe that'll, maybe that'll help you. All right, y'all, have a good one.